Hi everyone. So now we will learn that how we can create radio buttons in React Native. And uh, one question you can ask there like why we are creating radio buttons in React Native? Why we are not using default radio button components? See, in React Native there is a no by default radio button component like normal button and text input and all. You have to create your own radio buttons or you can import the npm package for uh, radio buttons. But in this video, I'll tell you how to make custom radio buttons without any npm package and all. We will use touchable opacity and some style and radio button will be there. So this will be the final output at the end of this video. Here you can see that we have two radio buttons and we can check them. We can select them. They are working perfectly fine. One more thing guys. So here we will make uh, two static radio buttons and in next part we will make dynamic radio buttons with the help of array right so firstly i want to show you like how uh, you can create uh, some styles for radio button and what logic you have to implement after that you can easily implement it with the uh, you can say that uh, dynamic radio buttons and all but again if you are not uh, just able to uh, make dynamic radio buttons i'll tell you in the next part but here we will make only static radio buttons all right so we need two touchable opacities or even you can use uh, highlight touchable i mean to uh, touchable highlights but touchable opacity has a better compatibility for radio button that's why i'm using that even in last video we already used that uh, uh, touchable highlight so uh, i will prefer to use that touchable opacity and after that, after just uh, defining two uh, touchable opacity and text, after that we will apply some style and make them radio buttons. And uh, after that we have to use uh, state hook to work them like proper radio buttons and all, right? So let's jump on the code. So this is our app.js uh, file and uh, this is our emulator for output. Currently we have nothing to display there. So we can start uh, with the importing touchable opacity like this and we can use inside our view right like this and inside this uh, let me take uh, a view here will I apply some style for just make a round radio button and uh, with that we need a text also right so that we can put some text like text radio button or something whatever you want so let me just make there radio one and to just cover the both of them i need to just make a wrapper of uh, both of around both of them like this all right so now you can see that we have a radio button text there but this is not look like a button not look like a uh, radio button even right nothing it's just simple text so we can just import style sheet to apply some style there so let me import this style sheet style sheet and we can write some style const styles my constant name and just use there style sheet dot create and with this uh, let me make a main wrapper first of all and there will be we'll use flex one and we, where we will apply this on the top of our view style styles dot main perfect after that to just make our content in center what you can do that uh just apply the aligned item property and we can just say that just make it center perfect and uh, if you want to just make the, that item uh vertically center then just put there justify content again center and now we have this text in the center so just uh, apply some style over the text like color and font size let me just create one more style which is styles dot mm, radio text or something right and let me define this object also radio text and uh, just make font size could be could be let's say 20 and color let's say you can use black
right so now we have a bit bid, uh, bigger uh, font size perfect after that we need to create a, a class with the name of radio and that will be apply on the that div so let me just put there style styles dot radio right and now add some style to this radio firstly we need to add width let's say 40 pixel height again 40 pixel you can use uh, we can see that border color we need border color could be let's say again black border radius we need uh, border radius could be let's say 20 a uh, border radius will be always half of uh, uh, your height and width right and uh, let's again save it and uh, after that we can say that border uh, width we can also add there right let me add border with this two pixel or you can add three pixel also so let me just uh, refresh it i don't know why this is uh, just showing me an error there this is saying string must be rendered within a text but we just put all strings inside the text box so what's the problem with it so let me just refresh it once properly mm, yeah actually i i got that uh, even if we are using view and if you want to add some string even if this is a blank then we have to use text and there is a blank string so i am just removing this blank string and it should work fine so now you can see that we have a round shape uh, look like radio button but still this is not a proper radio button right we have to work we have to work work more on it so the next thing that i want to do there uh let's just make them uh, parallel uh, text and uh, this box right so for that i need a wrapper so what i'm going to do there styles and putting there styles dot wrap around it and let me add some style to to this wrapper and there we just need to apply two things one thing is flex direction it could be row and uh, to just make them proper and in a parallel way so just make them aligned item center perfect so if you want to add some margin over there so you can add that thing also let's say i'm just adding some margin let's say 10 pixel so that we can maintain some space be uh, space between them and uh, this is a one radio button and we can just copy our one touchable opacity and directly paste there and now we have the two radio buttons we can change the name even radio 2 and radio 1 but still we need to just uh, provide one more option for select the radio button right so what i'm going to do firstly i will just uh, creating one more view inside the radio and uh, the name of this view could be let's say style and uh, styles dot radio bg that means background right and let's come back to the style use this radio bg and the background color could be black after that uh, we can add height and width so if i'm adding adding 40 pixel of height and uh, 40 pixel of width then you can see that this is properly covering that uh, uh, radio right so for that what i need to do there it should be a little bit smaller let's say i'm just making it 28 pixel but still this is not in the center you just make it in the center i am putting their margin on the old side let's see three and now you can see that this is in the center right now after that you can just apply the 
border radius and that could be half of the height and width even more than if you just provide the more than half then it will still just make it round so now you can see that now this is properly look like a radio button but now how we can select the second one because we just put this uh, style only on the first so if i will put this uh, g and then we have the uh, again that's the problem right for string so we have the both radio buttons selected but at a one time only one radio button could be selected for that i am just picking a state with the name of let's say selected radio and we have one more uh, element of this array set selected radio and let's just use set state by default value could be One, then we the just show there null and same thing we can 